In the introduction part, we discussed about the directory structure where we keep the files on the secondary storage at some locations and the list of the files and information about these files are kept in a directory structure. But here, we assumed the entire disk space to be a single partition and a directory for the files in that partition to keep the files organized. But usually a single large disk will be split up into a number of partitions or volumes. This partitioning is done either to keep the data organized. For example, operating system can be kept on one partition and personal data can be kept on another partition and backup data can be kept on another partition and so on. This even keeps the data safe even if operating system fails. We can reinstall the operating system without affecting the personal data. Also, if multiple operating systems are required, more than one operating system cannot coexist on a single partition or a single volume. In such case also, partitioning is essential. Thus, a single disk is split up into partitions and each partition acts as a separate logical disk or mini disk and a separate directory is kept for each partition maintaining the list of files and the information about this file in the directory for that partition. And even multiple disks can be combined to form a single partition with a single directory for that partition. Thus anyway, the user has to worry about these logical directories and logical partitions and no need to bother about the physical disk. Now what are the operations that are to be performed on a directory? First of all, search. We may need to search the directory for a particular file entry corresponding to a specified file name. Then create a file. After creating this space for the file, we should create an entry for the file in the directory. Similarly, deleting a file. If the file is no longer needed, after freeing up space for that file, we should delete the entry from the directory. Then list all the files within a particular directory structure and the information about these files. Similarly, renaming a file and traversing the file system. This is done if directories are kept within the directories. In such case, access every directory and every file within the directory structure.